Just a day after the total close of Karuma Bridge for travelers to and from northern Uganda taking effect, taxi and bus operators in the rural city have raised a number of challenges already affecting their businesses. According to travel business operators, the route to Kampala and vice versa has become longer, yet the fares have remained unchanged. This comes at a time where the Karuma route has been closed completely for all vehicles and passengers to and from northern Uganda to pave way for the renovations on the dilapidated structure. As per the new directive following the total close of the Karuma Bridge, vehicles and travelers to and from West Nelson region have been asked to use alternative route via the Marchand Falls National Park, which according to the transport business operators is a longer route compared to that of Karuma Abui Musa. A taxi driver who is operating on the Kampala to Arua route expressed the challenge of fuel prices, yet the prices have remained the same. Abu is now threatening to increase the fares since the journey is now a longer route consuming more fuel. The, 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 the journey of currently is now very difficult. It's now very difficult. We are here suffering with our customers so much because of the road. The road is to become very far. Now what we are going to do, as you people who have known, the fuel price is very high and the, the journey is going to be long. We are going to do what? We are go, for us, we are going to increase the prices. Meanwhile, Ismail Juma, the Waiwai Coaches Arua branch manager, confirms that despite the changes in the route, their prices have still remained normal. According to price changes, we have not changed our price. We have been charging our customers Arua to Kampala 50,000. We still maintain that price because the situation is not okay. Customers are complaining. They don't have money for sure. Work is a bit hard. However much the fuel is a bit up, we still maintain our price at a level, at the same price. We don't change it. Ari Jole Joel, a staff of California Bus Company, appreciates the government for the development and says that the change is not to also spare them either, as this has forced them to reschedule some of the times of their buses due to the overwhelming demand of the customers. Actually, it affected the bus of night hours. They came with the idea of saying the issue of sleeping in the Pakwats and the, the other side of Masindi. It doesn't favor them. They came with a proposal of saying that, if it's possible, why can't the management change the time of departure from Arua to Kampala and Kampala to Arua at night to daytime? And then management also granted their request. Recently, General Edward Katumba Omala, the Minister for Works and Transport, while inspecting the bridge confirms that the rehabilitation process will run for a period of three months to make the bridge stronger and safer for passengers. We are permanently closing this bridge, permanently, so that we can give these people enough time to do work. Because now we are not only going to replace what we have seen down there as rotten things, but we are going to replace the top. The whole of the deck is going to be replaced uh, so that it is made more safer to avoid those kind of leakages which you have seen down there. We are also going to improve on the safety. We are going to make, to put more strong materials to ensure that if tomorrow you veer off, God forbid, if you veer off, then you, you just bounce off and bounce back. Well, with the changes in the rules that did take effect yesterday, where the government has said that Karuma Bridge will be closed for three months, the question that remains right now is that will government finalize the works within the stipulated three months period is what most transporters are waiting to hear. Back to your community, Christine, at the Political Command Center.